Right on the edge of the fire river. What do we got? Nice, we got some rope. And, oh, and a lockpick too. That's a good crate. Okay, we're back down in the main cavern here. So, let's. Yeah, that was me. Uh, let's keep our eyes peeled for the usual. Looking for crates and crystal and phosphorus. Oh, we're thirsty. Let's take a couple of drinks of that. And let's us let's eat one of those too. Maybe even another drink of this. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's kind of go around this way. We didn't go up that direction last time. So let's, we, I did see a hunter up there, though. So we got to be careful. We always got to be careful down here. This place is dangerous. As I think I have demonstrated. Now it's possible that the hunter I saw up here earlier has that they've reset to a new location. But let's assume that hasn't happened and be on our guard. Yep, there he is right there. You know, something I've been thinking about that I'll share with you guys. We have the lever action rifle. The lever action rifle is supposed to be more powerful than this rifle. Whether or not it actually is when neither one of them are upgraded, I'm not sure. But the thing I like about this rifle is that you can shoot a lot faster. With the lever action, you got to stop and work the lever to, you know, jack another round into the chamber. This one has a faster rate of fire so I'm thinking the thing the reason we would need the lever action though is for the incendiary rounds because I don't think you can use those in this rifle but I'm thinking maybe we upgrade this rifle and use it instead of the lever action for you know at least every everyday use so to speak uh, for that reason you know because it's got much faster fire rate what do you guys think let me know in the comments what do you guys do? Do you use this rifle mostly, mostly for what we'll call everyday use, or do you use the lever action for everyday use? Is that a crate down there? I don't think so, but let's just double check. No, I think that was just a stone. You really have to look, man. It's easy to miss those crates. Let's come around down this way. Incidentally, I don't think I mentioned this to you guys, but the way to get out of here, to know how to get out of here is if you go back that way, back towards the North Cave, the entrance is kind of greenish in color. So you just want to look for the greenish area and then to get out on this side, you want to kind of look for this purplish blue area. And then you go right through this, it's almost like an arch right there to get out down to the south area that we came through. So just a little, little tip there on how to get out of this place. 
it's not too terribly confusing. Once you've been down here a few times, you kind of get the gist of where everything is. Um, oh no, you know what? Actually, I'm I'm incorrect. This is not the the way to get back out. You can actually get out this way too, but the arch I was talking about is a little further down this direction to the west. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this, I guess. Um, and, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's actually go look back here because there could be crates. It's it's that archway right there that you get out of here to go to the south. Back to the south cave. Okay, there's some crystal. So the biggest prize we've pulled out of here was the lock pick, but we also got a rope. Um, and a grenade, so everything else is nice too, but those those three things are the big prizes. Alright, I just want to kind of make one last sweep here in the main lava cavern. See if we can find one or two more crates if possible before we head out. And of course, more crystal too. Oh, our bat friend. All right. Even with a shotgun, these guys are a bitch to hit. You coming back at me, bro? Did he go back and roost again? All right, well, let's get this. I'm sure he'll come after us again. Sometimes you can spot him, um, you know, hanging upside down, and you can shoot him with your gun, but let's see if we can actually do that. He flew off this direction. just kind of hard to see with uh, all the smoke and stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. Let's just let him come after us and we'll shotgun him. Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Nice, he didn't even bleed us that time. Okay, let's take three of these. Yeah, the next time we come down here, I gotta remember to bring an antidote too. Eating raw bat meat, that has <clears throat> that has got to not be very healthy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's just kinda like I said look around down through here. Come on, crates. Give us a couple more, game. Give us a couple more. With another lockpick would be great. There's some phosphorus down here. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can actually use incendiary rounds in the the normal rifle, because if we can, then that seems to make more sense to me. Unless the lever action rifle, you know, when they're both fully upgraded, if the lever action oh, there's a chest is significantly different in damage. 
and it still might be worth it. But if they're the same... Oh, look at that, you guys. A strength boost. Very cool. And a bandage. All right. So what this does is it basically lets you harvest faster and also increases your melee with the axe. Never really... Uh, I, I do kind of use the axe, I guess, to, to thump the hunters when they get caught underneath my porch. But I've never used the axe as, like, an, my main weapon. Uh, I tried, uh, if you guys didn't see that episode a few episodes ago, I tried to melee a wolf, and I could not hit the thing. Even, even with him right in front of my face, it just wasn't connecting. So, yeah, I don't know, man. All right, well, I think it's about time for us to get the heck out of here. I think we've worn out our welcome. Uh, we did manage to get one more crate, which is good. Let's just run up through here as we start to work our way back out of here. Seeing any more crate action. But we have some bat action. Where is he? I'm stuck. Okay, yeah, he just frickin' infected us. I was trying to back up some more to take another shot, but I got stuck, so. Oh, now he's... Now he's derped, or he was. Seriously? Holy crap, these guys are tough. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to be really, really, really careful now because our health... Because of our health here. Alright, let's go. That leads back to the to the north cave, so we're gonna wrap back around this way again. Oh, uh, there's some crystal. We've got five health health kits, so I just if we get into another fight with the hunters, we've got to really be ready to start spamming those because we've lost half of our our health pool. Thanks to that stupid infection. Not seeing any crates down along there. Most likely, we're going to run into one more, at least one more group on the way out of here. So, yeah, we got to be careful. We has to be careful. Okay, this is the exit back to the south cave, so let's really watch ourselves in here. Looks like there's some phosphorus down there. Not. Maybe I was just looking at that and it kind of looked like phosphorus. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of kicking myself right now that I didn't bring antibiotics down here. Ah, well. 
Thirsty. Drink three. Let's also eat this. And maybe one of these. Okay, good. Don't see any crates over that way. All right, this is the way out. Yep, and there's a hunt. Oh shit, here they come. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Make up your mind, dude. Anymore? Okay, hopefully that's all, all that we gotta deal with. Once we get back to the FOB, then we can take the antidote and then we'll be back to full health and it won't be a big deal. Okay. Thus ends our first journey into the dreaded lava caves. Let's get the heck out of here. It wasn't too bad of a run. I wouldn't have minded hitting a few more chests, but we got a grenade, we got a rope, we got a lock pick, we got an ingot, we got some adhesive, some gears. So, you know, overall, not too bad of a run. I'll take it. And it was fun. That's the more important thing, right? That is the more important thing. Why can't I move from here? What the heck's going on? That was weird. This is not a good place to get stuck. <laughs> Hopefully there's no hunters right up on the over the edge here. There has been before when I've come up back over the edge. Like hunters right right there. And, uh, yeah, that's not fun. Not a fun situation to be in. All right. We are back at the FOB. And we got a bat coming after us. Suck it, bat. Let's take one of these. And let's see, what do we want to leave down here? You know, I don't think we need this many nails down here. I really don't. Let's uh let's keep 30 nails down here. We probably don't need that many that much cordage down here. I'm like really low on this stuff up above. Let's also take some more of this back too. Um we will, we got four Presto logs, so I think I'm going to take the coal back with me. Let's drink another one of those, and then I'm going to put that water back in there. We can leave the protein bars. I'm going to even take more of these, too. I just don't think we need that much down here. Okay. Likewise, let's take a few more of these back home. And maybe a few more of these, too. It'll leave maybe 15 down here. Okay, so that's that should be good. Um, now, we need to take all of this with us. So, here, let's just take all and see what we didn't get. I'm just going to put a few things temporarily in here. Okay, 
So we want the crystal, obviously. We want the gunpowder. We want the nails and the gears. All right, that means... Okay, we can double up on those. Oh, yeah. Is there other things we can double up on? Yeah, we can double up on those. Uh, I think that's all we can double up on. Okay, so that means we can take this and this. Why don't we turn all of this into cordage to free up another slot? Put the extra one in there. I want that scrap. We don't really honestly need the oil. I've got tons of that back at the base. So yeah, I think I'm going to just leave that in there. And, you know, if we have room on our next trip out, then we'll get it at that point. Okay. Uh, we have 66 crystal, but we're going to grab more crystal and coal on the way out until this pick wears out. Um, You know what? Let's actually just leave that wood there, too, and, and we'll take this. Okay, so we have 16 um, phosphate. That's pretty good, too. All right, let's go. We are ready to rock and roll. Um, our health is slowly climbing back up, so yeah, we'll just we'll just be as careful as we can. Okay, so we're looking for crystal and heading home. I don't even know where you are. There you are. Whew, okay. Eat you, take you, turn you into... No, we got five bandages, we're good. Okay. That's, yeah, that's coal over there. Okay. I think we can duck in here without getting their attention. Hopefully. Uh, looks like that one guy m may have seen us. Let's see if he follows us all the way up into here. No, I think he's... He either didn't see us or he gave up the chase. Oh, Hunter's right up there. Okay. Um, let's go this way, I guess. See if we can avoid them. Dirty rat. Dirty bat. Okay, so I think we can just kind of keep hugging this wall over here until we get up around this way. And we should be able to avoid those guys. At some point when we come back down here, I don't know if it'll be the next time or a few times from now. But I'm going to risk bringing my bow because my bow with the premium arrows are going to one-shot these bastards. You know, I guess it's... I guess I have to be at a point where I can feel like I can lose the bow, if I ha you know, if it happens, and recover from it okay. Because you got to remember, that bow is very very expensive if you count all the upgrades that you have to do to it to get it to even just to level 3 let alone level 4 which that's not going to happen until we blow Charlie up and get the advanced weapon parts 
Oh, right. Keep forgetting. That we're full. Okay. There's a crystal there. I think the hunters are kind of off that way, so I think we should be able to get to this okay. Base is under attack. Really, game? Couldn't you wait, like, ten more minutes? <laughs> I hope it's only one group. If all three of them hit us at the same time, we're going to have some major damage to repair. Oh, look at that. Some more phosphate. And some crystal, too. Um, I think we can get to this without attracting their attention. Yeah, they're a little further down. We should be okay. Oh, hopefully our pick will last long enough. It's going to be close. If it breaks, it breaks. We got it. Nice. Very nice. All right, you guys. Let's go home. And the home sweet home. Okay, let's take a quick look-see and see if anything looks uh, majorly damaged. Oh, look what we got here. You are dead. I love that, man. Oh, shit. I, for I forgot. We don't have room. <laughs> okay, quick. Let's go quickly drop some things off and come back and get that stuff. I'm um, just going to drop a few things in here. Not even worried about what it is at the moment, just so we can make room for the other stuff, because it's not going to last very long. There we go. Okay. Anybody else stuck under the porch? Nope. Looks like we're good. Alright guys, so yeah, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to uh, take a few days off and go out and loot and replenish resources, do the usual. And um, when I bring you guys back in the next episode, we will... I'm not sure what we'll do. Oh, you know what I think we'll do in the next episode? I think, we're, I think we'll take a trip to the new territory and, and take a look at it. Um, we did go over there in the winter... Uh, but I want to take a good look at it and uncover it and all that um, now that it's summertime. Um, and maybe we'll even uh, maybe we'll even put a net, uh, well, not an FOB, but an outpost there. We need to put an FOB up by the, I'd like to get one by the North Cave, though, uh, too. In uh, Season 1, I built an FOB in this area. It was very useful to have up there because I can't go all the way up there and and get back in one day. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll think about it and let you guys know when the next episode happens. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.